Hammer Gang. Cause we always hit the nail on the head. So check this out, my Miami Hurricane fans. Yes, my Miami Hurricane fans. I got some news for y'all. Now, before we get into this video, do me a huge favor. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you ain't already. So, a few things happening in Miami. Also, I, I know we got a couple Seminoles watching, so let me just address them real quick so they can get on their way into the comment section. Because this is Miami business, and you know, you know, they, they don't know nothing about that. So, the Seminoles, man, y'all defense is trash. Y'all not DBU. I said it. Yes, I said it. Y'all up there getting burnt toast and all of that. Um, your quarterback DJ, average and all that. It is what it is. Um, y'all ain't got the best quarterback in the state. You don't. You don't got the best team in the state. You don't. You don't. But anyway, let's get to the Miami stuff. So, congratulations, congratulations, Luca um, Gilbert. Luca Gilbert, tight end, four-star guy, out of the state of Hawaii. Out of the state of Hawaii. I think it's Lakata West. He goes to high school. Um, 6'7", 233, tight end, four-star guy, committed to the University of Miami over Ohio State, Michigan, and a whole bunch of others. Penn State, the whole Big two, the Big Ten, um, SEC, Kentucky, um, Louisville went after him. Miami got him. He's committed to the University of Miami. We know, we know, we know, we know, we know him for the past couple, two, two, three years for getting Ohio State players, the, the targets that they want. So, Congratulations, um, Luca, for choosing the right team. Um, as you guys know, sign on the dotted line and make it official. But, you know, congratulations anyway. Also, congratulations to Tucker. We got a new punter. Um, Tucker, I ain't even gonna lie to you, my guy. I hope we don't need to use you at all. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, it is what it is. Off obviously, offenses ain't gonna be perfect. But if we do need to use you in the near future, you know, do your thing. But Tucker has um, committed to the University of Miami. He's a kicker, punter. Um, let's talk controversy, man. Let's talk controversy. Because I really want you guys' opinion on this. Now, today, even on Twitter, I posted it. So if you guys want to see the clip, the video, you can go on to my Twitter, um, at T2Y Hurricane, or just search T2Y Hurricane, Hurricane T2Y. I'm pretty sure you'll find me my... Um, my whatever my display picture or whatever you want to call it it's iconic if you know the channel then you you, you can't miss me i posted a video on twitter on twitter that nevin shapiro posted now obviously me and nevin shapiro we ain't the best as a friend um a while back when nevin shapiro was released from um prison during the COVID time, because they was like letting out, you know, guys with the risk, cardiac risk, kind of risk, you know, any heart kind of risk, any heart risk at all. And, um, you know, those guys that was violent offenders, they were letting them go, letting them go home, basically kind of like a house arrest. Um, well, today videos surface of Nevin Shapiro announcing basically Seeing that he's the king of NIL, he started it. And um, obviously in the video, he's wearing the Miami Hurricane apparel. So um, I don't know where to go with this. Obviously, he, he stated in the video also that um, NIL stands for Nevin Image and Likeliness. It is what it is. Um, if you don't know who Nevin Shapiro is and you're a Miami fan, then I don't know where you've been. But I'll just go down the little timeline real quick. Nevin Shapiro was a booster um ponzi scheme or whatever gone to jail in prison for it or whatever so it is what it is um those are all stated facts those are public you can look it up um was a booster around the miami hurricanes um giving money players giving money to players and all that kind of stuff and extra treatments and stuff like that allegedly so here we are today nevin shapiro is basically saying in the video he said a lot he said a little but he said a lot i'm not sure though how Miami fans are going to feel about this because um, in the NIL era, let's just say Nevin want to give money to the program. Should the program accept money from Nevin? Would you guys be opposed to it? Let's just say there's three five stars. They all need some money to boost their, 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 their choice to come to Miami. And Nevin just happened to be there and the money just happened to be there and he could provide it. Would you guys be opposed to it? Let me know in the comment section. 
Like, share, subscribe. Let's have a conversation.